What's up? I'm John Hansen. Welcome to another edition of Hansen's Hints here at FantasyPoints.com. Whether you're listening to a podcast or watching a video, just know that there's also an article to go with this podcast slash video, which is one of 12. And to get into why I'm doing these, every year I do the draft plan article on the website. The best ball draft plan version of it is already up there at fantasypoints.com. The main version I usually release right after the 1st of August, which will be the case this year. But part of that big article and exercise is I map out my plan of action, all the positions, and then include the players that I'm targeting and when and all that. I narrow down the top 300 players on the board ADP wise to my favorite 70 targets, pretty exclusive company there. But I also mock draft, basically put the draft plan in action and mock draft from a variety of spots and, you know, go through that process and map it out for people who read the article. Well, this year I thought it would be cool to do uh, like a podcast and a video, podcast slash video, and write an article uh, on all 12 positions and use the Fantasy Points Generator as well to kind of go through it. So we're going to cut to a screenshot video. Okay, let's draft a team from the five hole using the fantasy points generator and we'll set this up here if you are watching the video a little tutorial on the fantasy points generator as, as well it's very user friendly very intuitive we'll go with one quarterback two running backs three wide receivers a tight end no kicker no defense if you're watching the other picks here in the videos you know the drill by now, we're going to pick that five hole. We've named this team, blah, blah, blah. These are all fake names. The software does save all these drafts, so it's a great um, mock draft tool. You can certainly just delete them all if you want, but we will keep them here and we'll go with a PPR format. So 12 team, 15 rounds, out of the five hole, snake draft, one quarterback, two running backs, three wide receivers, a tight end, two flexes, any skill position other than quarterback, P, P, R, and we go. We mock draft to our pick. It's probably going to be a wide receiver, but yeah. Oh, Tyreek. See, that's the randomness of this. Well, his, his ADP is 4.6, and uh, we're at 5, so we'll, we'll, we'll consider ourselves a little fortunate. Absolutely could happen to uh, you and your draft if he falls to, uh, if you're at 5. Let's move on to round two, and very similar to what happened in round four, we tested that out. We went a different, a number of different directions, and it did turn out that wide receiver, wide receiver was the start from four and now five as the sophomore picks Devontae Smith. So Tyreek and Devontae Smith, pretty good. We are in pretty good shape, needless to say, at wide receiver, and that's very important this year. Um, I'm kind of viewing this as the most important year I've ever, I don't know what I feel it. Um, and it's happening in the markets, but I also feel it's like the running backs are just down the board and let's just find those great values. So it's more important to get into that wide receiver business. So we open wide receiver, wide receiver. Now in round three, the BPA is Mark Andrews again. And do we take Mark Andrews here? No, we don't, because there's another tight end, as you know, probably, that I'm very much into. And so we're going to really mimic the team I just drafted from the four position and go Brees Hall once again as an anchor running back, knowing that it's a long-term play for the 2023 season. And we do have Michael Carter, a pretty sneaky handcuff right now as I record this on July 26th. Pretty sneaky handcuff. So we open Tyreek Hill, Devontae Smith, Brees Hall. Again, we're using very current ADP as of right now, using the Fantasy Points Generator as our guide. We don't always listen to the software, but I'm trying to find the best path for those of you at the number five spot. And this this is pretty much it. Wide, wide receiver, wide receiver, running back. And uh, here we are up in round four. 
software says. Survey says um, J.K. Dobbins, not a surprise. Let's um, take a look at the advanced analytics here. We could go Burrow. Dobbins, we're not taking because he would be available technically by the ADP if we waited a pick. Could go Ayuk. And again, that is the play. Uh, because of our guy, Rashad White, That that is the play once again. So again, we, we don't take Dobbins here because he's available with our next pick. So we are going to load up on wide receiver and get our guy Ayuk again in the fourth round as our wide wide receiver three again. And that's um, pretty much a big foundation of the plan. So next up in round number five, Trevor Lawrence, or we can wait on Deshaun. We can go J.K. Dobbins, or we can wait on Rashad White. Chris Godwin, no. Clearly the pick. Now, we could wait a pick, but it's risky. So we're just going to get him right now. Very similar again to uh, Team 4. You know, I'm, I'm, just getting, I'm just getting Kyle Pitts. I know that's a little early, but he's going to be a fifth-round pick by the time we get for real time in mid to late August. Mark my word. That 68 ADP will quickly turn into like, you know, 58, 55, something like that. Um, moving on to round number six here, drafting out of the five hole. Let's see what we see. We've got, we're good at receiver. We've got three wide outs. We've got one hopeful, hopefully stud running back in brace. And we've got a stud tight end. So we got great balance. We can go in a number of ways and, you know, clearly Rashad White stands out. We can still hold off a pick and get Watson. Or, or I mean, we could, we could truly dominate and get Jordan Addison as our four and then come back and get White, but then we miss out on Watson. No, we can't have it all. So it's basically, do I want... Lawrence and White or Watson and White, basically. I pretty much have my pick of it based on the ADP. Hmm. That that is a that is a close one. I will just grab I'm gonna go with the software. Software says white. I'm I'm undecided. So that's what we'll do. And we'll move on and it'll probably there it is. Select and uh, recommend Lawrence absolutely, positively, no problem with it. I have Lawrence higher than Watson, so I should go that route. Uh, so thus far, we're looking very similar to Team 4, but really, really good. Boy, if you can do something similar to, similar to this in your draft in late August, you're, you're winning for sure. And some leagues are out there. Not The guys aren't people. Girls, too, aren't totally dialed in. And you could draft a team this gurific. Uh, it's been done many, many times. All right, so the software and the numbers really love Brian Robinson. Uh, but once again, he's probably a guy we can wait on and still get him in the next round. Um, quarterback, we're good. You know, we can go Sky Moore here, which is probably what we'll do and what we should do. ADP right now is 100, so we're, we're only taking him eight picks Uh I've been taking Sky Moore 20 picks in front of his ADP for years now. <laughs> so uh, let's go with him in round number eight. That is one heck of a wide receiver four potentially. Ooh, boy. If he's the number one target in KC other than Kelsey, which we are 100% trending that way. I know it's early, but Cadaverous Tony is – He's down for the count once again. Let's move on. Drafting out of the number five hole. It worked quite terrific thus far. Tyree Kill, Devontae Smith, Brees Hall, Brandon Ayuk, Kyle Pitts, Rashad White, Trevor Lawrence, Sky Moore. Round nine, we're drafting against the computer and the software that's optimized to maximize points, and we're using ADP as our guide. And once again, we can kind of go any different direction. We are once again getting that recommendation of Brian Robinson. We'll check the advanced analytics. Again, no no sense in looking at the quarterback. We are we are in need of a running back, that is for sure. We've not really addressed it all that much. So 
I know it's a little boring. I'm going with the computer. I think Brian Robinson is actually the pick in, in this situation for sure. And that does stabilize things a little bit from with Brees Hall. So now we've got Rashad. And we could use Brian Robinson. God forbid Brees is out week one as our RB2. And uh, we are not going to be done addressing that running back spot, I'm sure. Certainly going to get Michael Carter as well. Uh, we are not going to get a uh, backup quarterback at this juncture. So we'll uncheck the quarterback if you're watching the video. I've just slowed down by this. Yeah, I think we are going running back again. Um, we've got Sky Moore as our wide receiver four. Um, the best wideouts on the board are Juju. I'm not a Juju guy. Nico Collins. Romeo Dobbs is interesting. I mean, he really is. But I'm not that interested right now until we uh, get some really good news. Jerick McKinnon is what I'm looking at. I certainly could go with my guy Darnell Mooney. Uh, I don't want to be taking Mooney every damn draft. I'll get more running back depth than the relatively safe Jerick McKinnon. I mean, I think he's a good depth guy, good RB4. Dude was a league winner last year. He could score at the drop of a hat. So we bring him into the fold, and we move on to round 11. Hmm, interesting. Um, Dalton Schultz. It's the first time I've seen him come across my desk, but it uh, does make some sense. But the advanced analytics has to say about it. We're going to probably wait another round on our guy, Kenny Pickett, quarterback. Running backs don't do much for me right now, so I'm glad we just got McKinnon and Robinson, that's for sure. That's why the software was recommending it, by the way. Because look at that drop-off. We go um, Jamal Williams, Devin Singletary, and then Tajay Spears. I love Tajay Spears, but, I mean, not this early. You know, Jacoby Myers, Adam Thielen, eh, yeah. Schultz or Komet, uh, I, I guess Schultz is projected to score more points. Yes, he is, um, by about nine and uh, somewhat consider considerable. Yeah, we'll bring him into the fold. It's not a bad tight end, too, at all. Uh, he should be the uh, rookie quarterback's blankie there in Houston. All right, moving on around 12. We're looking good, and just adding as, as my – ooh, interesting. You know, I have not been getting Adam Thielen as a pick, and, boy, it's boring. Is that two boring picks in a row for, for yours truly – We'll see what the advanced analytics says, by the way. You know, if we if we passed on Thielen, we can get Rashid Shahid, who's much more horrific. Um, but we just took a, you know, oh, I mean, we could certainly just go Pickett. Let's see, what is Pickett's ADP? 169. We're only at 140. All right, we'll take Thielen. All right, we'll do it. We'll be a little boring. We'll see how the team looks uh, score-wise. Uh, Thielen, though, I mean, he is on my list of targets. Uh, we are, you know, 140 in here. So do think he's going to give you potentially a nice 60 catches uh, cheaply. So let's move on. And I'm sure we're going to be adding, well, Devin Singletary. It just does not do it for me. You know, the, the numbers are going to say sure because you got to give him some touches. But, no, I think I think we're going right back. Uh, two receiver, and after that boring Thielen pick, we're going to get uh, a little gorific. Let's take a look at the running back situation, though. Can we, we could use another back of note, but Singletary is just so boring. Let's see. Roshan Johnson is a decent stash and hope. Jerome Ford, a decent stash and hope. Kenneth Gainwell, these guys are all about the same. Tajay Spears, Zeke. Yeah, he's really jumping out at me here at 150. Uh, Got to tell you, Singletary's ADP 155, <clears throat> Gainwell 165. Hmm. I've uh, I just fell asleep. This is this is so boring. Um, there you go. You know what? How about a little Alec Pierce action? Um, or or the other guy, I'm sorry, Rashid Shahid. That's the guy I was looking for. We're going to do it. Rashid Shahid, so there we go. Um, now we're pretty good at receiver. We're going to get Ken Pickett here. Uh, there, it, there it is. And now we've got a good backup QB, and we're going to end the draft probably with 
Probably with a stash and hope running back with upside, like maybe a Chase Brown. Oh, let's take a look. Boom. There it is. Oh, boy. Do I know this software or what? Well, Chase Brown is an outstanding stash and hope pick, and we'll we'll make it. Even though we don't have uh, Joe Mixon. And keep in mind, Michael Carter's ADP, as I tape this on July 26th, is still over 200. Well over 200. And we're not even at 175 in this draft. So consider him on this squad. So here we go. The draft is complete. And we shall see how I did drafting against the software. The software is optimized to draft the most points using our projections, my own projections. Uh, but the way the picks are organized and recommended, it's supposed to be op it is optimized and recommended. But sometimes I go off of the recommendations. I'd say I've followed it probably 10 out of 15 times here. So it might be one of those deals where I'm like first in total points or first in starter points and then second in, in overall, but maybe worse. I really don't know. So let's take a look at how I did drafting from the number five spot. And okay, boom, nailed it. Starter rank one, total points rank one. So I beat the computer and drafted a team that is projected at least per our projections at fantasypoints.com, which are mine, uh, to score the most points. Uh, and the squad is, let's take a look at the starting lineup. Trevor Lawrence, Brees Hall, and Rashad White, Tyree Kill, Devontae Smith, Brandon Ayuk, Kyle Pitts at tight end. We've got Sky Moore in the flex along with Brian Robinson slash Jerick McKinnon slash blah, blah, blah. Bunch of other guys. Maybe I like the team four a little, little tiny bit better, but this one actually came out with the most points. So there it is. Something of a roadmap for you. Drafting in the number four hole or five. I think you do, again, in this spot, you know, I'll do videos for the end of round one here where I won't be saying what I'm about to say, but if you're in this range four to five, you're, I believe you should be focusing on wide receivers. Get them while you can. Uh, there will be quality backs available likely in round three and beyond, like Brees Hall, the guy I took. So get in that wide receiver business. Try and get a little value with tight end and quarterback, as I did. That's my ideal plan, but look who I have. I mean, these are quality options, at least potentially in Kyle Pitts. And Trevor Lawrence. Take advantage of the running back depth with Rashad White, which we do in pretty much every draft, and uh, Sky Moore. You know, if you're unfamiliar, uh, those were my two favorite guys last year. The rookie class uh, said a lot of big, big things about them. Well, you know, it's really close to being accurate. Uh, Rashad um, looking at 300 opportunities this year with Leonard Fournette off the roster, which I thought would happen, and he's done about as well as I could have hoped, and Sky Moore right now. A tough rookie year, but you know what happened? They they put too much on him, really, and the reason they did that is because Sky Moore's the man, and uh, we will all find it out. You will all find it out out there. And, and I'm skeptical of uh, my guy Sky Moore, but anyways, good vibes on those guys, good vibes on these te on this team right here. So thank you for listening, like, subscribe, comment, hook us up, all that good stuff. And check out the Fantasy Points data suite if you haven't uh, set up at least a trial account so you can uh, test drive this data tool that's going to be uh, revolutionary in the fantasy sports industry. It really is the most ambitious uh, project, I believe, in, in the history of fantasy football content, uh, at least in terms of data analytics. So for... for uh, Another episode of Hanson's Hints. I am, in fact, John Hanson saying we'll catch you next time.